Hi, I'm Chad from PAX and I'm here to explain how to use the accessibility mode on our devices. To demonstrate this, I have with me the PAX A920. This is a handheld chip and pin device that can be used in shops and restaurants to pay for your purchases with contactless or chip and pin. This specific device is similar in size to a smartphone, just a lot thicker, which means you can hold it in one hand. This device is part of our A-series range, which, all of which employ the same accessibility mode. We also have larger countertop devices called the E-series. These have a similar accessibility mode. The main difference with these devices compared to the A920 is that the screen will be landscape instead of portrait. The number pad to enter your PIN is on the touch screen and there are no tactile buttons. If you are unable to see the number pad, the way to enter the PIN is slightly different to conventional chip and PIN devices that have physical buttons. This video will demonstrate how to use the device and enter a PIN. Accessibility mode can be turned on by a merchant for the use of people who are unable to see the number pad. The device will then speak the amount so you know the amount that you are paying. Following the amount, the device will read out some basic instructions on how to enter your PIN. The device will use beeps to assist you to navigate the keypad. The numbers cannot be spoken for security reasons, so you will need to navigate solely using the beeps. The layout of the pin pad is a telephone layout with 1, 2 and 3 at the top and cancel, 0 and OK at the bottom. The buttons cancel and OK are spoken, so these can be used as a reference point. There are small tactile markings around the edge of the device to aid navigation. A small pip indicates where the touchscreen starts and there is a dot indicating each row and column. The row and column with the number 5, the home key, has two dots to indicate this. You can use the dots to know where the different rows start and finish. I will now demonstrate these instructions. First, type in the amount and then select the accessibility button and let it read the long instruction text. Total amount, five pounds. Please listen to these instructions or to start, please insert your card at the bottom of the screen or tap the card on the screen. The keypad is standard telephone layout with one, two, three towards the middle of the screen and cancel zero and OK at the bottom. If you are too high on the screen, the device will tell you pin pad below. Tactile dots around the outside indicate the middle of a row or column. The row and column with the number 5 has two dots. The numbers are not spoken but the OK and cancel buttons. Speak the words OK and cancel. Use the tactile markings to orientate yourself. Slide your finger onto the screen and then use the beeps to find the right digit. When you have found the digit you want, lift your finger and double tap anywhere on the screen to enter it. Once you have input all digits, move to the OK button at the bottom right of the screen. This will speak OK double tap anywhere on the screen to confirm. The cancel button at the bottom left will cancel the transaction. Please insert your card at the bottom of the screen or tap the card on the screen to start the transaction. I will now insert my card and demonstrate how to enter your PIN. The keypad is standard telephone layout with one, two, three towards the middle of the screen and cancel zero and OK at the bottom. If you are too high on the screen, the device will tell you pin pad below. Please enter your pin. Find the desired key using the beeps and tactile markings, then double tap anywhere on the screen to confirm. When finished, select enter at the bottom right and double tap. It is best practice to start in one of the bottom corners, as the size of the buttons will be different from what you might be used to on your phone. As the top of the screen is not part of the pin pad, the device will tell you pin pad below to indicate if you are too high on the screen. Pin pad below. Pin pad below. Pin, pin pad below. Pin pad below. To enter digit 2, start in the top left and move your finger onto the screen. When you hear a beep, you will know you're on the number 1. Pin pad below. Then move to the right, and when you hear another beep, you will know you're on the number 2. Once you have found the digit you want, lift your finger and double tap anywhere on the screen to enter it. You will hear one digit entered. One digit entered. To enter, for example, the number 9, 
Start at the bottom right of the screen. You'll hear the OK button. OK. Then move up until you hear a beep, and then you'll know you're on the number 9. You can also start at the top right of the screen and move down from the number 3 to the number 6 and then to the number 9. Pin pad below. Lift and double tap your finger to enter the digit. You will hear two digits entered. Two digits entered. To enter, for example, the number 4, start at the top left and move your finger onto the screen until you hear a beep. This will be the number 1. Pin pad below. Then move down until you hear another beep and then you'll know you're on the number 4. Lift your finger and double tap to enter the digit. You will then hear the confirmation three digits entered. Three digits entered. To enter, for example, the number eight, start at the bottom in the middle of the screen. You will hear a beep, then you'll know you're on the number zero. Otherwise, if you are off to the left or the right, you will hear cancel or OK. Cancel. OK. Once you hear the beep, you know you're on the number zero. Lift your finger and double tap to enter the digit. You'll hear four digits entered. Four digits entered. After entering four digits, find the OK button at the bottom right of the screen and double tap. The device will confirm if the payment has been successful or not. OK. Pin accepted. Transaction completed. To summarise, there are different ways to get to a digit, but it is important to always start from a known reference point. We recommend using the OK or Cancel buttons as these are spoken, but it's also good to use a corner. Once at a known reference point, slide your finger along the screen and keep it on the screen until you have found the correct digit. If you lift your finger off the screen, it is easy to put it down in a different location by mistake. It is recommended not to guess where the digits are, as the spacing can be different from what you are used to on other devices. This concludes how to use the accessibility mode on PAX devices.